everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today, uh, we are talking about a channel favorite and one of my good friends, once again, that is Chad Lutsky, and we're talking about his, I believe it's his most recent, Cannibal Creator. Uh, just a heads up, Chad was nice enough to send me a review copy of the book. It got lost in the mail. I went out and spent my own money to actually get a copy because I was really, truly looking forward to it. Um, first thing I want to say here is I'm a huge Chad Lutsky fan. Uh, massive Chad Lutsky fan. And Chad, if you're cringing right now, please don't. I have good things to say. But I think this is my least favorite of your work and the reason why hopefully will come off as a compliment. So for ages, people have been complaining that Chad Lutsky uh, markets his stuff as horror and they don't think it's horror. He writes character drama, slice of life stuff, and I absolutely adore and love those books. Um, from Skull Face Boy, to uh, Stirring the Sheets, to uh, Foster Homes and Flies, to Wallflower, which is a personal favorite from mine. I'm a, I'm a bit biased about the subject material. But everything that he's ever written, I have enjoyed. The only thing that I have given less than five stars is The Neon Owl, because I prefer my noir to not have comedy in it. Um, I, Joe Lansdale for me gets away with it and I think that's what Chad was going for with that book but I still gave it four stars because I enjoyed it I found it funny it's just the noir stuff didn't work for me because I was laughing so much um, with this one it is very very Richard Lehman uh, very uh, I wouldn't even say uh, Jack Ketchum I would say more Richard Lehman uh, without all the rump and uh, all the rump mentions of rumps and sex and all that stuff. None of the creeper vibes. Um, the best part of this book is the character interactions and the drama that happens before all of the before everything pops off. I like the idea behind the book, but the majority of the book it felt like Chad was rushing toward the horror. Um, and when I really, really love it when Chad sticks with his characters and gets really deep into them. And I don't like Chad Lutsky horror. Uh, I, I know, I know that sounds terrible, but and most people were like, "Hell yeah, there's finally a horror story from Chad Lutsky." Um, but also, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if I was the right audience for this one. Um, I, now I am a fan of this, these type of books. Uh, Kira, Kia Wilson's uh, We Eat Our Own, Adam Cesar's Tribesmen, so many other ones that I have enjoyed that are homages or complete remakes of Cannibal Holocaust. Um, and it should have been right up my alley, but the thing is, I have come to expect a certain type of Chad Lutsky story. Um, now, I can't say that, you know, I love, you know, Stephen King's It and I hate Elevation. I can't be. I, I can't be honest about one author and not honest about the other. So it's all about honesty for me. Um, do I think the vast majority of you will eat this up and love it? Absolutely. So I suggest you go out and buy it. For me, it's my least favorite. And if I were going to rate it, I would give it three stars. It's, uh, but, it, but it's also a testament to Chad's talent that even while I was going, I, I don't care too much for the content or the plot. I still love the characters and I never wanted to start reading. Um, I never wanted to stop reading, sorry. Um, but I was looking forward to this one. It was a bit of a disappointment, not because of expectations, but just because I've seen Chad do so much better. And it almost feels like, and Chad, if this, this I'm speaking, I'm putting words in his mouth, or I'm, I'm not, well, I'm not trying to speak for him, but it feels like he was trying to appease a certain audience. And while he probably has, I didn't look up any other reviews, um, I, I, I prefer his other stuff. Um, I will say that there were uh, several moments in here that I enjoyed tremendously, um, maybe for reasons that maybe I shouldn't have. Um, so there's a very minor spoiler. I won't mention character names or who it happens to, but this is a very minor spoiler. You know, if you want to click away now so you're not spoiled, you can, because I've already talked about everything that I liked and didn't like about the book. So here's, I enjoyed it for the, for the, the campy aspect of it. There is a scene in here that made me holler with laughter. Um, and that is spoilers in three, two, one, that is when one of the characters is hit in the head with a hammer and then dragged away by a boar. It should have been horrifying. It should have been terrifying. 
but my campy, cheesy horror brain, I thought it was hilarious. And especially the character that it happens to shouldn't have been funny, but I thought it was funny. Just the visual of it alone was, was very almost Keystone Cops to me. Um, but anyways, uh, that's that's some, some things that I enjoyed. Uh, but me and Chad disagree on many things. He's a huge Halloween, original John Carpenter Halloween fan. I think the movie's goofy. So, it, it, and we're still friends, you know, aside, not aside. We're still friends, even though we disagree on many things. Like, whether or not the, the Kubrick's The Shining is good, and so on and so forth. But like I said in my review yesterday of Cassie Daly's book, I am much harder on my friends than I am on strangers. And I know that probably makes me a bad person, but it is who I am, and it is, you know, it's it's what I do. Um, I want to see them succeed. I want to see them successful. And I do think that the vast majority of you will enjoy this. Is this For me, for my money, I like to see it when Chad Lutsky tells a very small story in a very claustrophobic environment. And really, the the horror is the character's emotions instead of the instead of a bunch of brutal murder. That's just my point of view on it. Um, but definitely check this one out. Um, I'll leave a link down there in the doobly doo. It's an affiliate link. If you buy it from Amazon using my link, I get a little, I get some pennies. So if you want to do that, if you just want to go buy it elsewhere on your own, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, definitely go out check this book out. Um, Chad, I love you, man. Just being honest, you know how I am. Um, anyways, but until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!